Good morning, and welcome to Mitch's blog, The World According to Mitch, and TechnetCom's CanIT Pro, or the Canadian IT Pro Connection. My name is Mitch Garvis, and it is currently 8.30 on a Saturday morning, and you're wondering why I'm recording at 8.30 on a Saturday morning from the Microsoft Store in Yorkdale Mall, beautiful Toronto, on such a snowy, blustery day. I am here because people are lined up outside to buy the Surface Pro, or the Surface with Windows Pro, I should say, and it goes on sale at 9.30 this morning. However, we are lucky enough to have with us here the very first Windows Surface with Windows 8 Pro that has been sold in Canada, and we see that there are still preparations going on in the store and people are out and about cleaning. The lines are outside. We're going to interview some of those people. But here is the first Surface device sold in Canada. The first Windows 8 Pro Surface device sold in Canada. Very excited about that. It means nothing. It's no different from the second one or the third one. But here we go. Now, you'll notice I have a whole bunch of other things on the table here. I'm not even opening the box yet. But we have two different types of type covers the clear cover or the touch cover and the type or tactile click cover. We also have some other accessories, the 48 watt power supply uh, with the USB charger, the Surface Wedge Touch Mouse, the Surface Pen Stylet which uh, can be purchased separately, and the mini display port to VGA adapter. So these are all the accessories that are going to go along with it. I'm not going to pick up most of these today, but these are the options if you do come down to the store or if you're purchasing online. Now you better hurry because there's a limited stock. I'm also told by my friend Ed Bott that all of the websites, Staples, Best Buy, all, and, uh, all of the sites that have them available are already out of stock for online purchase. So if you want your Surface Pro, you better get down and get it today. So let's clear off some of what we have here, in fact, all of it. I'm going to remove the hat. I know you all love the hat, but we're going to take it off for the time being. Now, before we open it up, they, there are a couple of things that Microsoft Store wanted me to tell you about. First of all, there are still two editions of it available. One is the 64 gigabyte without the touch cover. The other is the 128 gigabyte version without the touch cover. And Microsoft Store Canada is now honoring the American prices. So they are $899 and $999 respectively. There are a whole bunch of accessories that you can consider as we see here. But there are two bundles. The first bundle has the Surface Complete Care Warranty, the Incipio Sleeve, the Screen Protector, the Home and Student or Office 365, and the Touch Cover, or the same package with the Type Cover. Bundle 2, uh, bundle two is for $299, and Bundle 3 is for $309. You can buy the same bundles without the, touch, without the cover for $199. Now, let's open up our device, and as somebody who pointed out to me a few minutes ago, it is the smallest box you've ever seen a computer come in. Actually, that's not true. It is exactly the same size box as the Surface RT came with. And we open it up very smoothly. There we are. I, of course, opted for the 128 gigabyte version. And we see here that it's very easy to open up but at the same time very ergonomically sound and there it is ladies and gentlemen the first Microsoft Surface sold in Canada so now I'm going to open up the box for everyone to see everything in it and it's very simple first of all we have our 48 watt power adapter with as I said the USB charging port along with the power cable. I'm going to pull the surface out. Here it is. Now it is a little bit bigger and a little bit heavier than the Surface RT. And we're going to compare the two devices side by side in a few minutes. But as we open this up, it comes in a 
clear protective sleeve and I'll just open up the kickstand for you there. We have our stylus, which I mentioned before. Now the stylus will click into our charging port magnetically. We have our Surface Book and of course there isn't much of a book to it. All of our information will be available online. And I believe that's all there's going to be. That's right, there's nothing else in the box. It is very simple as we are hoping and expecting. So I'm going to take the packaging out of the way. And now that our box is gone, we can look at the Surface device itself. Before we even get started turning it on, let's take a look at some of the differences between the Surface, well, let's look at some of the features. First of all, we do have the magnetic stylus, our 26 degree kickstand, which is different from the 22 degree kickstand on the Surface RT, I'm told. You'll notice there's a mini uh, connector for our VGA and our HDMI connectors, a mini display port. And over here we have a USB 3.0 connector, which is very helpful for those of us who travel around with, U with external USB drives. It increases the throughput by four or five times the speed, and it is a huge improvement for those of us, especially if you're going to be using a USB hub which will split the power of that, the USB 3 will give better throughput over the USB 2. A little bit thicker than my previous Surface. Let me bring the Surface RT into the picture for a minute. Here we have the two devices side by side. And you'll notice, yeah, it's not quite double the thickness, but it's certainly a lot thicker than its RT cousin. And if you look here, you'll notice that there's, it just pushes out a little bit further. Because it has a Intel Core i5 Ivy Bridge processor, there is some heat issues that we have to be concerned with. So you'll notice that this slit is going to allow for ventilation. There is a fan inside that when it does require it will kick in, but otherwise the Surface Pro is a very quiet device just like the Surface RT. Now let's kick our kickstands out. Let's see if I was right about the degree or the angle of the tilt. And yeah, the angle, oh, the angle is about the same, so I was wrong about that. So we do have the same angle on the screen, 22 degrees, which is extremely comfortable as I found out. And my Surface RT device came with this magnetic keyboard. I am fortunately happy to find out that I can just pull that keyboard out from here and plug it in here and that will work. Although the power supply and the video connectors are different, the keyboard will work, will be interchangeable from the RT to the new device. So, I don't know if it comes with a charge, but let's press the power button, turn it on, and see if it goes.